I always tell entrepreneurs that you're not a successful entrepreneur until you realize that it doesn't have to be a solo entrepreneur thing. We get where we're going with a lot of help from a lot of our friends. Yeah. That's exactly what happened to me. So Jay gave us like a three book deal. He had some eBooks that weren't published that we published, which were phenomenal, did really well for us. And then we, I'd made friends along the speaking circuit who gave me, you know, their a chance because, <laughs> you know, they were having the same trouble that I was, but you know, who am I? But a friend, they thought they'd help out. So a couple of them, in fact, one of them is an author, <laughs> uh, Dr. Robin Anthony, you know, he, he had a book that just came out of print uh, from Penguin. And now we took it off in 2004 and over half a million print later, you know, so yeah, they just gave us a chance and we just earned, you know, the rest. I had to earn the credibility in the space. I had to earn distribution. We just had to earn it all, but we got there because we were helping authors basically realize their goals, which was helping their audience realize their goals. So see how it kind of all goes back and forth. And we just grew it from there. Uh, you know, 2008, uh, we've got, I think we were called the first hybrid publisher 2008. Also when publishers weekly called us, you know, um, or labeled us as one of the best publishers in the nation. In fact, they called us that 10 years or 10 times over the next 20 years and just grew. We had our first four New York times bestsellers in 2006, had our first number one New York times bestseller, I think 2011 and just grew and earned it. But the real reason why we're successful is that relationship that we're developing with the authors. You know, now 100% of our books will show up in brick and mortar stores. Now the depth and breadth can vary, of course, but uh, we've got that credibility. We've got that success for the best sellers, but that relationship where we're helping authors realize their goals is the fun that we have, but the joy that we get that funds us to do it another day. And wow, that amazing. was fun. I hope that answered the question. <laughs> It's like defining a relationship, right? When someone says, tell us how you met and like how the years have gone together. You've had 20 plus years of a marriage with something you're very passionate about. Oh and gosh. it shows. You're international as well, right? Right. Uh, and that was for strategic. You know, back in the day, we were, you know, we, we, we landed distribution by a global distributor by 2007 amazing story how that even happened. You know, they called us and like, who are you? What are you doing? And how are you selling so many books? I'm like, I don't know. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we ended up getting picked up by um, actually the nation's largest distri book distributor in the, in the globally, the second largest. So our distributor had offices strategically located around the country and there were printing facilities and distribution channels throughout the country. And I'm like, Hey, we're there you know, let's be there too. So we just started to slowly branch out. Um, 2005, we opened up our New York office, um, partly because I was tired of answering the question, why Virginia? Like I live in Virginia. This is where I started the company. You know what? Why not Virginia? But everybody says, well, why not New York? I'm like, so we opened up an, our headquarters in New York uh, and everything doubled. That was kind of like the whole perception of New York was huge. But then we also opened up an office in Nashville, uh, London, uh, Vancouver, Australia, uh, and now Boston. Yeah. So it, we just kind of went where our distributor was and established you know, relationships in those, those areas and just grew globally, but from a gorilla perspective where we didn't waste time or resources, we just established value in those areas. And it's been a big part of our success, man. We look huge. You know, then we looked huge, you know, a couple of cool gorilla stories and how we did it. But even today we look a lot bigger than we actually are. <laughs> and size doesn't really equal ability to maneuver within a marketplace either. And that's one thing that we had deep discussions about in our initial calls when I was choosing the publisher. All publishers have value. There is, it's aligning with the one that has the value that aligns with you. Yeah. And as you very well pointed out, having a relationship, if you're an author that is about building relationships with your audience, then having a relationship with your publisher is so important because it translates fluidly between all on that chain where if you're a number in a system and you don't know, and one of the things we also talked about, not that this happens, I don't know, I have no, I have not experienced it. I have now, since you brought it into my awareness, heard of it <laughs> happening to someone where they may purchase your book, purchase the rights to your book and then shelf it because it's not the right time for it to release. And that can break down a relationship actually faster because as authors, you're right, we're entrepreneurs. This is our baby. Yeah. And the last thing you want to do is see your baby shelved and you can't do anything with it. Mm -hmm.